Listen, if you want to overclock your controller the right way, watch this video entirely and like the video. In this video, I'm going to go over details how to make your controller go from five milliseconds to one milliseconds response time. Overclocking your controller allows you to react faster in games like Call of Duty Warzone and other FPS games. And this works on PC and console. Okay, before we overclock the controller, this is the main step that I don't see in other YouTube videos. What you need to do is you need to deactivate secure boot. So in order to do that, you need to restart your PC. Once you turn it back on, then after that, depending on what type of bio system that you have, you got to click F2 on startup or F4 or delete. For my situation, all I have to do is just hit F2. You go into your, your BIOS utility device. Once you go there, you're going to click boot, go down to OS type and click other OS. So once you do that, you're pretty much good to go. That's all you gotta do. And then now we can start with the next process. All right, once you disable the secure boot, all you need to do is, is hit the windows button with R. Once you do that, you need to type in MS info 32. When you type that, scroll down and go down to secure boot, which is right here, secure boot state. It's gonna indicate to show you that you turned it off. You need to do these settings correctly for you to be able to overclock your control. You got to make sure to do this right. Okay. Once you turn off the secure boot, this is the next step. I have never, ever seen any video on YouTube that's helping me out. Let me know what to do. I don't watch numerous videos about this. This is another step that I've seen on Reddit. And also I've seen it on overclock.net. So right here, it basically tells you, you need to go to start search windows security and the device so let's do that real quick we'll go here okay from the information that i got you go to start you go to search you go to windows security so when you go here you click on the app you're going to open this up okay now listen closely on this section right here so once you get to this section on windows security go down to core isolation so once you do that, you're going to click core isolation details. Now, when you do that, it's going to show you right here. It says memory integrity. You turn this off. You have to have that turned off. Okay. Once you do those two steps, the, the secure boot and then turn off the memory integrity. I promise you this solution works. Like I said, I haven't seen any video on YouTube that, that showed me this. I had to do a bunch of research just to figure this out. So let's go ahead and get to it. Okay, once you turn secure boot off, go to this website. I will have it in the description below for y'all. All right. Um, so the first thing you need to do is go down here to hit USB F zip file. Click on that. All right. Once you click on that, click the download. Okay. Once you download the file, make sure to unzip the file and then save it wherever you need to save it at. You know, save it on your hard drive or wherever you need to save it at. But the most important step is make sure to unzip the file. It will not work if you don't unzip it. So once you install it, let's get to it real quick. Let me see. Let me go to it. All right. Um. Okay, here we go. Overclock controller. Okay, so when you click on it, make sure to click driver. So once you do that, go to setup. Go ahead and open that up. All right, cool. All right. I mean, you can make it big if you want to, but I prefer to have it this size. So when you do open it up, make sure to uh, expand your filter real quick so you can be able to read it. So at the top left, click on all. Okay, go down to the controller. Like I said, this right here works for Xbox controllers, PlayStation controllers, etc. All right, so once you got it open, right? For some reason, when I seen YouTube videos about this, nobody had it right. I have seen nobody. Maybe it's been an update or something. So um, right here, as you can see, it says wireless controller. So on this section, what you're going to want to do is you're going to. Um, OK, the first step is you're going to click, click the controller. You're going to hit install service. So once you install the service, step number two is changing this section right here now now for me and for y'all it might be totally different from the videos that i watched they always said turn it down like like change it to 
1000 but 1000 never works for me it gives me like four milliseconds or five milliseconds the whole objective is is to overclock your controller and make sure that you're getting one millisecond so what i did was i changed mine to 8000 so like i said step number one install the service step number two change it to 8000 change your rate to 8000 rate and then after that you're going to hit install service again and then step number three you're going to click the filter on device once you click that you're going to install the service like i said if you did the first two steps like i said you got to uh you got to turn off secure boot yeah core isolation just make sure your your core isolation is turned off and like i said your sec secure boot that's all you need to do if you got those two steps done you'll be straight you can be able to overclock your controller right here this is the proof you can look on my screen and actually see it you know i got my rate at 8000 but you know um my millisecond is at one so if y'all got any type of questions go ahead and hit me up in the comment section and like i said you know if you need to download this uh overclock tool the link will be in the description below make sure to like the video and subscribe for new new content you get what i'm saying but uh appreciate y'all for checking me out i'm out